Hello everyone. In the next few videos, I'll show you very basic Docker commands. I'll also show you how to work on Docker Hub, how to find images, how to use images, how to log into Docker Hub from the command line. Currently, I have this Docker container running. The name of the container is AWS ECS ENV var. If I try to get that message, I get this high deep. I'm running on a local machine, AWS ECS. When I do a curl, I get this output. So basically this container is running and it is throwing this output without any environment variable as such. Now let us go over and talk a few Docker commands. I also have all these Docker images. What I'll do is I'll show you a few Docker image commands and then Docker container commands and then we'll see various options of Docker run. The first thing is Docker image LS which you already know. So it lists all the images which are there in my system. So as you know, I'm running this Docker daemon in my local machine, not on an EC2 instance. And these are the images which are currently there in this machine, in this local machine. These images are not there in Docker Hub. These are only there in my local machine. So I'll push some of the images to Docker Hub also in due time. But as of now, these are the rep uh, repositories. This is the tag and these are the image IDs. And these, are, these are the size of the images. From here till here, the size of the images are more or less sa same because we're actually using almost the same image. I don't want to go into this details because I have not talked about union file system in Docker. That's a little bit of deep talk topic on Docker. And this is not a session on Docker. I just want you to understand the basic Docker commands, which might be needed when you work on AWS ECS also using the EC2 launch type. If you use Fargate, these things would not, would not be needed. So Docker image LS, you already know what it does. Then we'll use a command called Docker image inspect. After running the command, you have to give the image ID. So it will show you all the information about the image. So I've run this command here and these are the output. So if you see, it is showing you the ID of the image, when it was created, which ports are exposed, which command is being run inside of the container. If you have any volumes exposed as of now, no, because uh, the Docker file does not have any volumes, but we'll improvise it later on. What is the work directory in the container itself? What is the entry point of the, of the image? As in when the container runs, what command would be executed? The Docker version 18.6 community edition and more or less same stuff here also. The, uh, the architecture of the image, the operating system, size of the image, so on and so forth. These are the important things in the image if you want to know. So if you have an image, you can get the, get the information what the container would run. So when you use this image to run a container, what would happen? Then the next command is to remove an image. So how do you remove an image? So let's say I want to remove this image from my local repository. The command is docker image rm and then the image id. Now it is giving some error because it is unable to delete the image and the reason being this image is referenced in multiple repositories. This is because of union file system and Docker. What happens is that on a very high level, if you have an image running, if you have created an image, for example, we have used the from Ubuntu command in multiple Docker files. So if your local repository already has Ubuntu image, all the other images will use the same Ubuntu image. For example, suppose I have two Ubuntu images. One is Ubuntu latest and the other one is Ubuntu 18.04. Now, if I run another Docker file, if I create another Docker file file with a, with a completely different application, not this one, but if that application is using Ubuntu 18.04, Docker will not pull it from Docker Hub anymore. It will use the local directory, which already has the Ubuntu image, and it will build the rest of the things using this image. So that's why Docker containers are so lightweight. Docker images are so lightweight because it uses the existing local image repository. And this is something called union file system on a very high level. And that is the reason I'm getting this error. It is saying that you cannot delete this image because some other image might be referencing this one. Let me try to remove this main page if I can. Same is the case here, but yes, you can force the image also. You can remove the image using force command. Now, if you see here, the latest image which you had created earlier, 
that image got deleted without any without any problem because no other image has any dependency on this particular image id so that's how it works you cannot delete an image if other images are referencing to a particular image id the next command is docker image history and you have to pass on the image id along with the command docker image history and it will tell you the history of the image when it was created and how it was created then you have image commands like docker image pull and docker image push those commands are related to docker hub which will show you in short time but before that let me show you docker hub so this is the docker hub portal hub.docker.com you have to sign in with your id and it will take you to uh, the docker hub so now here you can create a repository on your own uh, by clicking here or else you can create the repository from your local machine also but let, let me go ahead and create a repository here the name of the repository would be aws-ecs you can give some short description also and the visibility can be either public and private so if you are using the free version of docker hub it has to be public if you need private you have to pay some cost so private repositories are not free but public repositories are free if i create this public repository and when i push the commands to this docker hub you can download it in your machine you can pull it from your machine and download the same image so what i'll do is for every container image i'll push it to docker hub so that you can go ahead and download it I'll show you how to download it you can create it on your own or you can download the image and then run it on your machine also you can run it from in AWS EC2 instance as well of course you need to have docker daemon installed in AWS EC2 instance click on create and the registry would be created now this registry does not contain any any images so if I have to pull any image I have to mention this command but before pulling any images I'll have to push images here so pushing is actually from my machine to this docker hub and pulling would be from pulling this docker hub registry to my local machine as I said the local machine could have been an AWS EC2 instance as well so I have created this repository and I'll upload images from my local machine to this rep repository now the thing is that how do I connect from the terminal you can get the image or you can work on docker only using the command line now how do you, do you go ahead and use the docker push command these are the images available now now what i'll try to do is i'll try to push this image to the docker registry which you have just created the command is docker image push and you have to give the image name the image repository name and the tag so my tag is i'll use this image aws ecs latest not v2 let me try to push this image to docker repository now it will show that uh, access denied the reason being i am not logged in so how do you do that i will have to use the command called docker login now here you will have to mention the username and password the username should be the same should be exactly the same which you have created for docker hub in my case it is the cloud 2208 and of course the password and if i press enter i'll be logged in or i'll be connected to the docker hub which you have just created so the message i'm getting the message login su succeeded so from this terminal i'm actually connected to this docker hub account now i can push images to this repository which is aws ecs but before pushing the image to docker hub we'll have to make some changes what we'll have to do is we'll have to tag a docker image as per docker hub syntax so the command would be docker tag and then the image id and now you'll have to put your docker user id and the tag let's say aws fn ecs latest so the tag of this image has been changed from aws hyphen ecs dot v2 to deep cloud 220 slash aws hyphen ecs latest this name is as per docker hub now let me go ahead and do a docker image push if you see now the image is being pushed to docker hub now it will take some time so i'll pause the video and come back when the pushing is complete so once that is done i should be able to see this image in the repository which you have just created all right so the image image has been pushed and if i go in the docker hub i should get to see this image with the tag latest why tag latest i'll come back to that shortly but let us go ahead and cross check whether the image has been uploaded or not 
this is a repository this is the this is my account and i have aws ecs as, as the repository i have created only one repository as of now click on aws ecs this is the info of the repository and if i click on tags this is the image which has been uploaded as of now with the tag name latest why latest let us go over to the command this is the command which i use to push the image okay so these are the images now how this docker push command worked and what did it do I pushed it to the repository which you have already seen. So let us go over to the syntax one more time. Before pu pushing the image, you have to tag the image which is on my local re repository. What I wanted to do, do was I wanted to push this image with this image ID E7 ending with E7E to the Docker Hub. Now before pushing to Docker Hub, I have to tag this image as per Docker Hub syntax. So the syntax is the username of Docker Hub forward slash the repository name colon tag. The command which is used is docker tag and then the image id and then this is my username docker username forward slash this is my repository name and this is the tag for this particular image i have given latest you could have given anything else also let's say aws hyphen ecs press enter what it did was it created one more repository with the same image id now if you see here this image id and this image id are exactly same the only difference is the tags and the repository names are different once that was done you use docker image push command with the repository name and then it would be pushed to docker hub so docker hub has its own cloud to store all these images they basically use their own cloud services so that uh, you, you can connect it from anywhere as long as you have internet so that's what docker image push does now what I'll do is I'll remove all these images and, and I'll try to pull the same image from Docker Hub from my repository. Before doing that, let me show you something. I have already a running container and this container is, is using some image which is AWS F and ECS colon V2. Let me go ahead and try to remove this image. I will not be able to remove this image because it is saying that image cannot be deleted as it is being used by a running container. So you have to make sure that all your containers are stopped. I'll come back to Docker container commands after this. So once your containers are stopped, then only you can remove your images. So to stop a container, the command is Docker container stop. And of course the container ID. Now I can go ahead and delete the image. And now it is showing, showing that it is being referenced in multiple repositories. And you know what this error is. So I'll have to go ahead and delete all the dependency images. And then I'll, once that is done, I'll try to pull this image from Docker Hub. To remove a docker image by force, you just have to add dash f after the rm keyword and it will remove the image which you have mentioned. So I have deleted all the images or I have removed all the images. Now what I'll do is, as I have this image available in docker cloud or docker hub, I'll try to pull that image here and try to run a container out of it. To pull an image, this is the command docker image pull, then the docker username forward slash the repository name and then the tag. So we had used the same syntax to push the image to Docker Hub. Now I'm doing the same to pull the image from Docker Hub. If I press enter, the image should be pulled from Docker Hub. The reason I was able, able to pull this image because I'm already logged in using Docker login command, which I had showed, shown you already. Type Docker image ls now, I should be able to see this image, which is deep cloud AWS ECS. Now let me go ahead and run a container out of it and it should give me the same and it should give me the exact same page when I type the curl command. Now I'll use this command to run the container from the same image. So docker run it expects an environment variable which is name capital NAME. This is the name of the container AWS ECS from hub and I'm exposing port 8080 on the host and the container port is also 8080. And this is the name of the image. The name of the image is like this because we have pulled it from Docker Hub. Now, if I press enter, it should start a container. So this container is up and running. I have passed the variable cloud deep tech. Let me try to do a curl. Sorry, I forgot to add the endpoint. So it is saying how cloud deep tech I'm running on a machine. So my container is up and running. So what I have done so far, we created an image in my local repository or in my local machine. And using docker push command, I pushed the image to docker hub, which is a repository on cloud maintained by docker. I had to create my docker hub account and I had to create a repository. So before pushing the command, I had to tag the local image with the format docker username forward slash the repo, repo name and then the image tag. So it was pushed to docker hub 
and this is the image with the tag name latest and then what I did was I removed all the image from my local, local repository and I used docker pull command or docker image pull command to pull this image from docker hub and the image was pulled. After that, I used the docker run command to run a container from the same image. So that's more or less about docker image command which I wanted to talk about. Let's go ahead and see docker container commands.